In the south of Denmark, a mega project is underway to build a tunnel under the Baltic linking the country to Germany. Imagine cutting hours off your travel time, eliminating ferry rides, and seamlessly connecting entire regions. In the south of Denmark, a massive engineering project is making that vision a reality. This isn't just any tunnel. It's set to be the world's longest prefabricated underwater tunnel, stretching an incredible 18 kilometers beneath the Baltic Sea to link Denmark with Germany. To put that into perspective, this tunnel will be more than twice the length of the Channel Tunnel that connects the UK to France. And the sheer scale of this project? It's currently Europe's biggest construction site, covering an area the size of 600 football fields. The cost? A staggering 7 billion euros. And it's all being built with one goal in mind, to revolutionize transportation between Northern and Central Europe. Why this tunnel is so important. Right now, if you need to travel between Denmark and Germany, you're left with only two choices, and neither is particularly convenient. The first option is to take a 45-minute ferry across the Feymarn Belt, which might not seem too bad at first. However, when you factor in the time spent waiting in line to board, loading and unloading vehicles, and potential delays due to weather or high demand, the total journey time can become much longer and unpredictable. Your second option is to avoid the ferry altogether and drive an additional 160 kilometers on a long, indirect route through mainland Denmark. While this removes the uncertainty of ferry schedules, it adds significant time and fuel costs to the trip, making it less than ideal, especially for businesses that rely on fast, efficient transport or for commuters who frequently travel between the two countries. Once the tunnel is completed, the entire travel experience between Denmark and Germany will be transformed the time required to get from Copenhagen to Hamburg, two of the most important cities in the region, will be dramatically reduced. What currently takes around 4.5 hours will be shortened to just 2.5 hours, a massive improvement that will save time for millions of passengers every year. If you're driving, you won't have to deal with ferry schedules, ticket bookings, or waiting in long lines. Instead, you'll be able to drive straight through the tunnel without stopping, completing the crossing in under 10 minutes. But the significance of this tunnel goes far beyond simply making it easier to travel between these two countries. It is part of a much larger European initiative aimed at improving connectivity across the continent. By creating a seamless high-speed route between Scandinavia and Central Europe, the tunnel will boost trade, tourism, and economic ties. Businesses will be able to transport goods more quickly and efficiently, reducing logistical costs and making supply chains more reliable. Travelers will enjoy fewer delays, less time wasted in transit, and a smoother, more predictable journey. And from an environmental perspective, the tunnel will help reduce carbon emissions by eliminating the need for ferry transport and cutting down on the extra fuel burned by cars and trucks taking the long detour. By providing a direct and efficient route, the Feymarn Belt Tunnel will not only improve travel, but also contribute to a greener and more sustainable transportation network for the future the mind-blowing scale of the construction. This is no ordinary tunnel. The way it's being built is nothing short of an engineering marvel. Normally, tunnels are dug directly underground, but this one is being built in a completely different way, using massive prefabricated sections. Instead of constructing it beneath the sea, they're building enormous tunnel segments on land and then sinking them into place one by one. Each segment is absolutely massive over 200 meters long and weighing an unbelievable 73,000 tons. That's heavier than 400 Boeing 747 airplanes. These segments are being built in a huge construction site in Denmark, reinforced with enough steel to make 50 Eiffel Towers. Once a segment is completed, it doesn't just get dropped into the water. The process of placing these segments is extremely delicate. First, a massive trench is dug into the seabed, deep enough to fit the tunnel. Then, each segment is floated out onto the open sea and carefully lowered into position. This has to be done with incredible precision. If the segment is even 15 millimeters off, it could throw off the entire structure. To make sure everything lines up perfectly, why not just build a bridge? 
At first glance, building a bridge might seem like the simpler solution. After all, bridges are cheaper to construct and don't require as much underwater engineering. But in this case, a bridge would have created more problems than it solved. One of the biggest challenges is that this part of the Baltic Sea is an important shipping route, with some of the world's largest cargo ships passing through. If a bridge were built, it would have to be extremely tall to allow ships to pass underneath. That would make it not only expensive, but also risky. Another major factor is the weather. The Baltic Sea is known for its strong winds, which would make a high bridge dangerous for vehicles crossing during storms. There's also the very real concern of ship collisions. If a massive cargo ship were to hit the bridge, the damage could be catastrophic. By building a tunnel instead, engineers are making sure the connection between Denmark and Germany is as safe and reliable as possible. Challenges and environmental concerns. Of course, a project of this magnitude doesn't happen without its fair share of controversy. Even though construction is now in full swing, the Fehmarn Belt Tunnel faced nearly two decades of delays due to lawsuits, political debates, and environmental concerns. Opposition groups raised serious questions about how the project would impact marine ecosystems, arguing that dredging the seabed to create the tunnel trench could destroy natural habitats and disrupt delicate underwater ecosystems. There were also fears that increased human activity and underwater noise pollution could interfere with fish migration patterns, affecting species that local fishing industries rely on. Beyond the environmental concerns, some critics questioned whether the tunnel was truly necessary. Was the enormous cost, over 7 billion euros, justified? Would the benefits outweigh the disruption caused by the years of construction? And what about the existing ferry operators, whose businesses depend on the current travel system? These were all major sticking points that led to legal battles and intense public debate. To address the environmental risks, Denmark and the EU implemented strict protective measures to reduce harm to marine life. The trench for the tunnel is being dug using methods designed to minimize disturbance to the seabed, ensuring that as little sediment as possible is displaced. Construction teams are also using advanced noise reduction technology to limit the impact of underwater vibrations, which can be particularly harmful to species like porpoises and fish that rely on echolocation and sensitive hearing. Additionally, monitoring programs have been put in place to track the effects of construction on marine biodiversity, ensuring that if any unexpected damage occurs, adjustments can be made. But despite the initial concerns, there's a strong argument that, in the long run, this tunnel could actually be beneficial for the environment. By removing the need for ferry travel and cutting out the unnecessary 160-kilometer detour that vehicles currently have to take, the tunnel will significantly reduce carbon emissions. Instead of thousands of cars and trucks burning extra fuel on a longer route, they will be able to take a much more direct and efficient path, leading to lower fuel consumption and less air pollution. The tunnel will also encourage more people to travel by train, which is a far more environmentally friendly option than both driving and ferry transport. What happens next? Right now, construction is in full swing, and the next big milestone will be placing one of the crucial segments into the seabed. Once that's done, engineers will continue adding sections one by one until the full 18-kilometer tunnel is complete. If everything goes according to plan, the tunnel is expected to open in five years. When that happens, it will be a game-changer for transportation in Europe. Scandinavia will be more connected to the rest of the continent than ever before. Businesses will be able to move goods more efficiently. Travelers will save hours on their journeys, and the entire region will benefit from a smoother, faster transportation network. A future engineering marvel in the making. It's rare to see a project of this scale and ambition take shape in real time, but the Feymarn Belt Tunnel is proof of what's possible when technology, engineering, and vision come together. It's the kind of construction that reshapes the way we think about travel, taking what was once a time-consuming, inconvenient journey and turning it into a seamless, high-speed connection. So, the next time you find yourself in Denmark or Germany, just remember, beneath the waters of the Baltic Sea, one of the most impressive tunnels in history is being built, piece by piece. And when it finally opens, it will change the way we travel forever. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the biggest engineering projects of our time, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible stories just like this one.